to everyone, welcome to Mary Magdalene, the teachings that we do together. And today I'm going to talk about master your mind. This is your pastor, Yeti. One must first discipline and control one's own mind. If a man can control his mind, he can find a way to enlightenment. And all wisdom and virtue will naturally come to him. Today we offer an initiation for the mind. The heart and the mind need to be in balance in order to be enlightened. Overrushing the mind will throw you out of balance. Being out of balance with the heart will do the same. The heart informs the mind as the mind informs the heart. This is why they have been given to you for your human journey, for both are needed and are gifts to be used together. That is the key to the full experience of being a sacred and powerful being. If one is closed, the other is overused and you will not be able flow in full frequency. Today is about learning how to calm and train the thoughts of the mind so that your heart and mind can come into balance. Some of you like to move from thoughts directly into action without passing through the heart. We have shown you how to open the heart and today we must begin training the mind. The process is simple. The key to the process is a quiet mind. Sit and be still. Do nothing and peace of mind will come. The voice of the universal soul cannot be heard clearly amidst your constant chatter. This chatter comes from the ego which does not like to be silenced. Have the ego step aside. The mind will then calm and quiet down, allowing the divine to inform. We are with you more clearly when you first take the time to clear the mind of egos, clutter of external circumstances, of earthly troubles of past and future worries watch the thoughts pass and then release them it only takes willingness to be breathe then be still with each breath you are slowing down the mind from there you will be able to connect to the divine and tune into the frequency of the source of your own soul. Listen to my words. I find my center in my body and I begin to breathe. In each breath, I breathe it more slowly. I hear quiet come over me. I see the waters of my mind. The breeze now flows more gently. The rippling waters of my mind now fade into serenity. One word then fills the inner spaces until all that remains is still. And so it is. The world is loud enough there's a lot to do. Our days are bored. Are okay. Are full of everything we need to do. 
sometimes overwhelmed, sometimes in the same pattern of our lives, whatever is there that comes to your mind that needs to find a rest. And be still and help to set aside the ego. Our mind and heart needs to find balance. Otherwise, it's going nowhere. May your soul find rest and peace. This is your Pastor Yeti. Bye-bye.